Hello everyone, Tina Spaulding, Trance Channel here for our Daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Today's lesson is lesson number 41. God goes with me wherever I go. Today's idea will eventually overcome completely the sense of loneliness and abandonment all the separated ones experience. Depression is an inevitable consequence of separation. So are anxiety, worry, a deep sense of helplessness, misery, suffering, and intense fear or loss. The separated ones have invented many cures for what they believe to be the ills of the world, but the one thing they do not do is to question the reality of the problem. Yet its effects cannot be cured because the problem is not real. The idea for today has the power to end all this foolishness forever, and foolishness it is despite the serious and tragic forms it may take. Deep within you is everything that is perfect, ready to radiate through you and out into the world. It will cure all sorrow and pain and fear and loss because it will heal the mind that thought these things were real and suffered out of its allegiance to them. You can never be deprived of your perfect holiness because its source goes with you wherever you go. You can never suffer because the source of all joy goes with you wherever you go. You can never be alone because the source of all life goes with you wherever you go. Nothing can destroy your peace of mind because God goes with you wherever you go. We understand that you do not believe all this. How could you when the truth is hidden deep within under a heavy cloud of insane thoughts dense and obscuring, yet representing all you see. Today we will make our first real attempt to get past this dark and heavy cloud and to go through it to the light beyond. There will be only one long practice period today. In the morning, as soon as you get up if possible, sit quietly for some three to five minutes with your eyes closed. At the beginning of the practice period, repeat today's idea very slowly. Then make no effort to think of anything. Try instead to get a sense of turning inward past all the idle thoughts of the world. Try to enter very deeply into your own mind, keeping it clear of any thoughts that might divert your attention. From time to, from time, to time, you may repeat the idea if you find it helpful. But most of all, try to sink down and inward away from the world and all the foolish thoughts of the world. You are trying to reach past all these things. You are trying to leave appearances and approach reality. It is quite possible to reach God. In fact, it is very easy because it is the most natural thing in the world. You might even say it is the only natural thing in the world. The way will open if you believe that it is possible. This exercise can bring very startling results even the first time it is attempted and sooner or later it is always successful. We will go into more detail about this kind of practice as we go along but it will never fail completely and instant success is possible. Throughout the day use today's idea often repeating it very slowly preferably with eyes closed. Think of what you are saying, what the words mean Concentrate on the holiness that they imply about you, on the unfailing companionship that is yours, on the complete protection that surrounds you. You can indeed afford to laugh at fear thoughts, remembering that God goes with you wherever you go. And that is lesson number 41. God goes with me wherever I go. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And this is the most basic truth that you can tell yourself all day long, that you are not alone. I am not alone. God is with me. And that thought will bring you peace. Instead of accusing yourself of being stupid or alone or abandoned or hateful or judgmental, to say, I am never alone. God is with me is a wonderful, wonderful gift to give to your own mind because then you are connected to everything. 
You are connected to all that is loving. When you align yourself with the knowledge and the truth that you are at one with God all the time and that you are never abandoned, you will feel wonderful because it is true. Remember, your guidance system responds to truth with positive emotional feedback. It responds to untruth with negative emotional feedback. So if you say, I'm always alone, I have been abandoned, nobody loves me, you will get a strong negative emotional feedback from guidance saying, oh, dear one, you are so wrong. Don't do that to yourself and it will feel bad. The ego believes that you will feel bad because it's true. You are alone. You have never really been taught the proper interpretation of your emotional guidance system. You feel good when you are on point, when you are accurately thinking in alignment with truth. And this is one of the most truthful statements that you can align your mind with. God is with you wherever you go because you are a holy son of God. You are a holy child of God. You are a holy daughter of God, if that is the wording that you would like us to speak. And so we will do that for you. I am that one that you know is Jesus. And there is nothing more rewarding than to be at peace because you know that you are connected to source energy, all that is. And that is the truth. Suicide and depression are separation from truth. You are never really separated from God, but you can, with your powerful creative minds, believe that you are, and so you will suffer. But it does not mean it's true. You will never be abandoned. Even if unto death, even if you attempt suicide, you will not be abandoned. You will be picked up in the arms of angels if that was your successful attempt. And you will be taken home and you will be nurtured and looked after until you are ready to come down once again to learn the lessons that you were unable to learn. I am that one that you know as Jesus and there is all pervasive forgiveness on this side for any errors that you make. And we want you to understand that truly in every fiber of your being. That no matter what you have done, no matter what you have said, no matter what mistakes you have made because of the distortions that you carry in your mind, you will always be forgiven and God is always with you. We will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you everyone for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye.